Who is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and today we're just gonna go through the prologue of Flight to Haravera. Let's go! Alright, so we got a radiogram from someone. Exarchy of Haravera, 2144 hours. The rebel official has beheaded the archbishop. We have taken refuge inside the monastery. Send help. Trakea. Its lush mountainsides and golden valleys have for centuries remained a place of peace and prosperity. Its rulers grew rich and powerful and stayed loyal to the empire. Hmm. It has been close to a year since the destruction of the 8th Grand Fleet at Vlora. The Trax's rule over the region is all but shattered. Only the capital territories remained under imperial control. But both sides have met a stalemate, as neither proved able to overpower the other. What could turn this conflict around? Hmm. Maybe the Bean's Navy could? Okay. Good morning, Afendi. Wait, what did you just call me, you little shit? Reporting an uneventful night, and it seems the enemy has not spotted our movements. Those rebels will not expect a thing. Well, it is surprising to say the least, but this route through the gorge won't conceal our presence for long. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to handle them either way. We'll await your orders at the bridge. I should get going. Yeah, maybe I should get going. Alright, so... Okay. I think I just need to land in this town right here. Get Semane. Or something. All right, let's do some landing, shall we? Don't give me tutorials. You think an old war criminal like me doesn't know how to land a ship? <laughs> okay. Three hundred meters. Are we descending or ascending? You said descending at 500 meters. Nice. The engine shut down, the electronics stop beeping, and the smoke clears. Your officers are waiting for you to say the words. After you, gentlemen. You descend into the village docks, accompanied by your hippas pists. What the fuck are those? Halfway down the ramp, you see a group of men, ones of higher birth if judged by their attires. They seem to be looking for you. You spot a man dressed in noble robes, waving at you happily, a smile from ear to ear painted on his face. By the lord above, it can't be. Welcome friends, I hope you had a nice trip. The man chuckles while trying to contain his laughter. Voivode Radu, your highness, we all thought you were dead. People saw you hang in the gallows. Heh, <laughs> you should know a man of my standing always finds a way, officer. Even if those closest to us cower in the shadows instead of showing any sense of dignity or courage. My treacherous son reigns over my fiefdom now. I took all I could and fled here, to the Middle East. Uh, did I just say to the Middle East? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm, I'm retarded. But with the fall of the 8th Grand Fleet, I will soon need to relocate once more. The enemy is not far from here. But why are you here, third son of the Trax, Prince Terrace? Well, your highness, it is a very daring mission for a daring crew, Voivode. But I cannot share our goal with you. You know... Beans Navy, we don't really want to share our information with the wrong people, so you know. The old man looks away for a second. He then turns to face you, his eyes wide open, revealing some concern deep within. You are heading to the monastery. 
Well, you know, Haravera is of much strategic importance, and if we do succeed, a breakthrough from the main force will surely follow. Those rebels will have nowhere to retreat to. We're gonna crush those re rebels. Whoever they are, I have no idea who they, who they even are. What they're rebelling against. Yes, of course. I will join you. I need to join you, Prince Teres. You cannot decline. It is your grandfather's sake. Well, that's unexpected. Well, okay. I guess we'll find some quarters and some space in the Beans Navy, Lord Voivode. But don't expect any anything, you know, glamorous, you know. We might have a shortage of beans, so, you know. I have flown with the fleet before, Prince. I even made a good admiral back in my days. Well, okay. I don't think anyone asked, but welcome aboard the Beans Navy, Voivode Radu of Megapontos. Lieutenant? The Voivode had been considered dead for almost a year now. His son is a staunch supporter of the rebellion, unlike his father before him. What a little rapscallion he is. But how could a Voivode fake his execution? A public execution, I might add. If our reports are to be believed. Do you think Do you think this Voivode guy could be getting us into a trap, maybe? I don't know, he seems a little sketchy, a little dodgy, you know? No, it's more likely that his son truly wants to believe the old man is dead. You know the friendship with your grandfather had built with him. He was, and still is, one of the most loyal men to the crown, even if he has fallen from the grace with his people. Oh, we got ourselves a new ship. And, okay, let's refuel and we'll head into the next city. Uh, should I get some ammo? Let's get some 57. There's no 57 millimeter ammo. Oh, come on. Who's Grandmaster Jarkil? Well, I don't care. So, are we heading north now? Well, ye well, duh. Where else are we gonna go? Now, get back to your post. Yes, Afendi. Excuse my manners. We have paid for the fuel, but it'll be some time before our ships are done refueling. Okay then, I'll wait. I am going to wait at supersonic speed. The ships have refueled and are ready to go. Your orders? Yeah, let's go. Right away, sir. May I speak with the young master, officer? Of course, Voivoda, sir. You look an awful lot like your grandfather, you know. The resemblance is quite uncanny. Sirtis and I were made blood brothers in our youth. We did not break our bond until his death. Always energetic around people, but very blissful when left to his own. He lived a happy life to the end. I envy him. My offsprings are weak and appeal to madmen for justice. I curse them with all my heart. Hmm? I made a promise to him when I took over Megapontos. I too hold responsibility for the protection of the monastery and whatever it is guarding. So you said whatever is inside that's being guarded by the monastery. So you don't know what is in there either? Only three men in this world may know what it is guarded in there. The Archbishop, the Trax and the Emperor. And now the Archbishop is dead. The fact that the monastery was attacked means our enemy knows of what lies there also and that its possession is of much importance. Well, that's unfortunate uh, for the guys who have done the beheading because I'm about to kick their asses. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to this town. Eh -eh. Oh, it seems there is an enemy garrison. All right, to battle stations. <laughs> Navarians, get into the battle. Let's go, bitches! Woohoo! Welcome to Haravera, baby! Two 
more to go. Okay, let's land one of these ships. All system is fine, bro. System is fine. Everything is okay. Damn, I should really get paid to do the landing of the ships. Ooh, and so there are actually some of these missiles in here. I think I'll buy a couple of those. I think those could be useful. Oh, wait, can I put one of those in here? Oh. Yes! Yes! Findi, we have made contact with our reinforcements. It is commanded by an Imperial Attach. I believe you know him. Professor Jarkil? Quite so. Hmm, okay. We're gonna depart as soon as we're ready. Whoever this Jarkil is. Alright, let's wait until daylight um, to fight the next garrison because I honestly don't really like to fight at night, so... You know. All right, let's go there. All right, to battle stations. Beans Navy. These bastards have ground forces stationed here. Watch out for missiles. Thank you, uh, cool looking bearded guy. All right, let's go. Let's go, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Missile. Missile. Shoot fire at them. Come on, shoot fire at them. Let's go, come on. Yes, down she goes to the depths. Another victory. Man, I could get used to this, honestly. Like... Wait, you said something was broken? What? What's broken? Nothing's broken. What are you guys smoking? Liquid methane? I mean, that actually sounds kind of fun though. I like how we landed next to a tower. <laughs> the Voivode looks a bit off. That was some fancy flying, lad. It reminded me of my early youth in a Salem course. 
I especially liked performing those battle rolls back then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to find a corner to throw up. <laughs> aging is a bitch. It's not about age, it's about the mileage. You stroll through the town at night. Are you sure about that? The people seem charmed by your presence. You take a turn into the local merchant plaza. A short man dressed in expensive clothing steps in front of you. He has a couple of bodyguards behind him. By morning and by night, my lord, I welcome you to our town. Who the hell are you, peasant? I am Bastakos, a scrap metal merchant and a former diplomat for the Romanis. I am the wealthiest man around here. Well, you're not looking too shabby for a pretty rich man, but... But you still gotta get on to, onto my level, you know? Okay, you know what? Get out of my way, man. Let me get right to the point. I want to join you. You are going to the monastery, are you not? Who the fuck told you that? I am a minded man, Afendi. You need not hide things like this for me. And okay, how can I trust you? The man lifts up a hand to reveal a golden bula, the sign of aristocratic status and devotion to the crown. His name is scribbled on it. And what would you benefit our cause, merchant? As I said, my lord, I used to be a diplomat. You catch Radu with the corner of your eye coming towards you, still with a sour face. Well, that was damn disgusting. I found a couple of rats mating inside the barrel I threw up in. Jumped right in my face, the bastards. Eh? Am I interrupting something? My lord, I have connections sprinkled all over this exarchy. They would be willing to lend you their eyes and ears if I were to join you. An informer? Interesting. Interesting. Who is this person? The Voivode of Megapontos. The Voivode is dead. The old man is not lying, merchant. Bastakos looks confused. Okay, you know what? Whatever. This guy... I don't think... You know, shall, shall we be off then, gentlemen? Wait, my lord. Please, think this over. You, you could regret this. I have friends, close friends in Harafira. I'll prove my value, I swear it. And what's in it for you, merchant? The liberation of Tarkia, of course. And some tonnage of burning scrap, I hope. What do you say, Lieutenant? I can't believe I can't believe I'm deciding things because of a lieutenant. Couldn't I have like maybe uh, a Commodore, maybe a Tarhan, you know? Some someone higher rank, you know? Okay. We can take him. If he causes trouble, we can just throw him off the deck. Good thinking, Lieutenant. I think I might promote you to captain at some point. <laughs> well, it seems that you found yourself a vessel of Har for Haravera, Master Merchant. You won't regret this, kind of Fendi. So, I want to meet other people who are willing to join our cause. Do you know anyone else? I've not heard of any loyalist or warlord residing in this area. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, so we got this um, bald guy in our fleet now. Is this the new gladiator? I mean, it looks it looks a bit like a... looks like a jellyfish. Grandmaster... Who, the, who in the hell is that? Unknown transmission come incoming, Afendi. Okay, wh what is its position, Lieutenant? Second Expeditionary Squadron reporting in. We are heading to Pericia for rendezvous. Move in to secure in advance. Do not try to impress me. Do not try to impress me. <laughs> it's him, alright. You know him also, Lieutenant? Professor Jarkil was a teacher to us all, my prince. Oh, yeah, indeed, sure. Oh, it's night again. Okay, whatever. I mean, fighting at night is also pretty fun. You get to see all those muzzle flashes a little better. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's use the grasshopper for now. 
think it's a good ship. Oh, okay, we gotta watch out for ground missile attacks. Oh shit, this guy has armor piercing. So far, the Grasshopper is a lot like the Gladiator. It's pretty slow, but you got a good amount of firepower. Good victory! Game saved, okay. A report from the lower deck just came in. It seems he has arrived. I wonder how Professor holds up. Greetings, my friends. It's good to see that my work made such prestigious officers. Well, it is certainly good to see you here, Grandmaster. It truly is an honor, sir. So far, so good, gentlemen. I was allocated here very hastily by orders of your father, my prince. It's a big endeavor, this mission. I have voiced my concerns to the leading nobles. We are the Bean's Navy officers. We should not be expected to form concerns. I believe this operation won't lead anywhere. If Command wanted to take Haravera back, why would it do it now? Ever since the disaster at Vlora, we have rightly so entirely lost the initiative. We must keep on the defense. That won't do us any good, unfortunately, Professor. We must press our north at all costs. The Grand Master is taken by surprise. At all costs? Please, noble sir. We are not a, a suicide force. We merely seek to cap- Our objective is the monastery, professor. Nothing more. We cannot let its secrets be violated. The place is sacred. And surely even a foreigner like you can understand the importance of that site. Jarkil is left staring at the Voivode in silence. Sizing up the old man with his gaze. I see. I guess we have a tough job ahead of us then. My prince, you are still in command of this operation. Lieutenant, I have been ordered to act as second in command. My place is next to the prince, Grandmaster. I will continue acting as his ent entourage. Jarkil turns to you. Your orders, Afindi? Well, let's go to Odomantis. To your post, gentlemen! Okay, so so now I have a Grand Master as uh, second in command of the Beans Navy. All right, okay. Afindi, we have intercepted a radio transmission. Pick up the phone quickly. I know how to play this game, Lieutenant, bro. Onyx, going at speed 110, course southeast, on route, Visna. Wire whether you can supply drinking water 70 ton. Okay, strike groups. We're gonna go to Visna, exactly where the strike group is. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Let's go to Oreston. Excellent. Now a word, Fendi. Okay, sure. I didn't want to hurt his feelings or his blood pressure, so I tell you this privately. I still believe this mission will doom us all. We ought to push for some more ships, should we need the arise, since I understand that pulling back is not negotiable. Well, we're, well, I mean, at least you are here, Grandmaster, right? I don't really have the facilities to fight the um, strike group, so we're gonna have to do this like this, unfortunately. Oh shit! That's fine. We're going in loud anyway. <laughs> Let's go Grasshopper. I think this ship is the best. Come on. You stupid lightning, come on. Aw, oh, you cheeky bastard.
problem is this was a loud strike, so we might get fucked by the strike group. I mean, we're fine, right? I'm gonna try to land it in the 104 spot just because we're gonna have to get this thing repaired as soon as we can in case we have to leave as soon as possible shit gotta recalibrate ourselves a little bit okay stabilize nice I don't think the strike group in the prologue um, is actually real at least that's as far as I know Alright, so we are now refueling at Oreston. And... It doesn't seem like the strike group wants to follow us. But okay. Let's just refuel. And let's fly to Odomantis. Okay, that's the strike group going from here to here now. Okay, we're gonna do this silently with just a lightning. Well, hopefully nothing bad happens. But I mean, it's a prologue anyway, so what's what, what could possibly happen, right? Oh, there's an aircraft carrier. What the fuck? Oh, shit, this is a pretty big garrison. Ah, haha, <laughs> okay. Let's, um, let's just use high explosive, whatever. Alright, let's go, bitches. Alright, the main thing is just dodge missiles and artillery. And also rockets. Dodge those two. Alright, don't use afterburners. That wastes a lot of fuel. Only in emergency situations. actually grabbed armor piercing because that could have been useful against the aircraft carrier. Okay, let's focus on the aircraft carrier because his planes are pretty menacing to say the least. Please. 
please. Kill it. We survived. Holy shit. Okay, maybe this battle wasn't meant for just a lightning, but I did it, I guess. But I think this is the last battle that we had to uh, do for the prologue, so that should be good. Capture of Odomantis As we entered the city, a large crowd of people welcomed us as heroes with cries of joy. Your skills have improved dramatically, young Terrace. I applaud your victory. <laughs> I just nearly destroyed the lightning, but okay. I hope there would be more enemy ships to fight here. Yes, and more well-equipped. Profits will be, will be minimal. Your father will be very proud about this, Afendi. Well, thank you. Anton, what the fuck? Is that his name? Shall I report to Central? Yeah, go ahead. Capture of Odomantis. Odomantis is ours. Yes. By order of His Majesty the Trax, the expedition is to wait in Odomantis for the arrival of Capital Class Cruiser. Further reinforcements are also on route. Vice Admiral Maxim. So, we waited for the arrival of our new flagship. We rested in the shade of our accomplishments. For ahead of us lies a mission of great purpose. We cannot let the monastery fall to the enemy. Who knows what secrets lie within its vaults? What power and knowledge could turn to dust? After almost a week of idling, we finally got a glimpse of the cruiser my father promised us. It was a larger than anything that Thrakian shipworks had ever constructed. Maybe not as impressive as some of the Imperial heavy cruisers, but a wonder of engineering nonetheless. Look at it. As it landed down, we got to see the name of its flying beast. Soethes II. The dead may yet rise to speak, said the Voivode, as a shiver passed down up his spine. So is the second, my prince. Not the mightiest of our heavy cruisers, but who could expect more with such a hasteful planning? Losing him will not be an option. This would sell millions for scrap and electronics too, or even for resale. Lieutenant Andon looks stunned by the size of the ship. I have to admit, Afendi, that I don't see myself able to administrate such a vast craft. Bravo, lad. Have some brav bravado, eh? The academy has hardly ever put out such a fine officer as you, Anton. Have some faith in yourself. You take a look at the ship, from one end to another. No, gentlemen. I think my assistant will need an entourage for himself. They all started laughing. And that is it from the prologue. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and uh, I hope you are looking forward to the full campaign of Flight to Haravera. Thank you all very much for watching, and happy Haravera!